Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO module. Today we'll be continuing the withholding text continuing part, where in the last session we completed the withholding text configurations in it, and today we'll be doing the unit testing on the withholding text. So the withholding text unit testing part will consist of the above steps. First, we'll be assigning the withholding text codes in a vendor master. Then the second part is we will be posting the vendor invoices and we'll see how those withholding texts have been used and how the amounts are deducted from the invoices against uh, for the TDS, for the withholding text part. Then we'll, we'll, we'll be moving to the vendor payment and we'll see how those payments are done uh, on this particular withholding text codes. And then the vendor line item where we'll be checking back the vendor ledger balances. We'll see how those uh, documents are posted and their impacts on the ledger accounts. And then the GL line items will see the withholding text ledger account and we'll see what are the postings which have been posted in the withholding text ledgers. And then there are certain reports which are needed for the uh, withholding tax report where the taxes are deducted so that you can find those reports as a consolidated part for your return perspective. So that is what we'll be taking up over here. So let's move on to the first step that is assign withholding tax codes in vendor master. So moving on to the SAP screen, we'll first moving to the vendor master. The transaction code is FK02. So first we'll be moving up to FK02, enter. Now over here you need to select the vendor code that you can select over here with the F4 selection options. Now in that you can search over here in the screen. So in that you can find the text vendors over here. Whichever vendor you want to select, you can select that. And in that you can assign the withholding text ledger. Suppose I select the vendor over here. Suppose I took this particular vendor that is TDS and then what I need to do is I need to select this withholding text over here. So once you select the code, vendor code, then the company code and the then you need to select the withholding text part because I just need to assign the withholding text codes for the percentage to be deducted as per the withholding text. So I would be selecting this option over here and then enter on the screen it will take you to the next screen that is directly to the vendor withholding text screen part so once i entered it took me to the screen that is over here now in this this is change vendor withholding text accounting in this part we maintain the withholding text related details over here you can see over here on the first part that is withholding text country so you need to select the withholding text country over here. The withholding text country we defined in the configuration part was US. So that is what you will be taking over here, US. Now over here you need to go and you need to define the withholding text type. So that you can select it over here from the search options. So let's see the search options over here. So I will be taking the withholding text option as N1 that is on invoice. Now. You should be clear with one thing that the withholding tax can be deducted at the time of invoice or at the time of payment. The option is with you in which you want to deduct for. So if you want to take for the invoice, you can take this particular 1098 withholding tax type for invoice. Double click on this and this is over here is selected that is N1. Now over here I will be selecting the tax code, withholding tax code. Now the withholding tax code is one which contain your percentage which will be deducted on that particular invoice. So in this particular part N1 with uh, the tax type there are two tax code F1 and F2. F1 is related to the rent 10% and X F2 is for royalties 30%. So whichever part you need to select over here as per your your tax to be deducted on the vendor you need to select that. So I suppose I take it as rent. Now I would be selecting this recipient type. Now recipient type involves the number of different recipients who would be a part of it. So the one the vendor is a part of individual or corporation or a nominee or others which of them. So accordingly you can select it over. Suppose I select it as individual. 
So that is what I took it and I can select over here as a liable part. So this is what I deducted because I want the text to be deducted at the invoice level. That is when I will be punching the invoices or posting the invoices in the system. The system should deduct the text as per F1 that is 10% as per the rent part. So it is what the system will be deducting in this particular case. Now I can go and I can save the screen over here. So you can see over here there is a warning message. You don't need to do anything. You just need to enter on the keyboard. So once you enter it will take you to the next and you can see the message changes have been made. So if you want to cross check the changes again you can enter and this will it will take you to the same screen. So once I entered it took me to the same screen you can see over here the same detail which I have maintained or filled it up over here. You can even see that 1099 withholding text type has been maintained in this screen over here as well. So this is what you need to do. You need to first maintain. This is what the first step in the unit testing assigning the withholding text code. So we have assigned the withholding text code over here in this particular row where you need to define the withholding text type because withholding text type contain number of different withholding text codes. So which text code you want to select that is what been selected as per the percentages to be taken and then you need to select this liable box over here because on the basis of this only the taxes will be deducted otherwise it will not be liable on the particular invoice and then the recipient type the kind of a recipient a vendor is whether he is an individual or a corporation or a government or something else so accordingly you select the recipient and then you can go and you can save that's it so now moving on to the next step now the next step says posting vendor invoice. So now we can move and we can do the posting it for a vendor invoice. So once uh, we can go to FB6060, enter. So now we'll be selecting the vendor first. So let's move on to the search option for the vendor list. From the vendor, now we will be selecting this TCS vendor over here because in this TDS vendor master only we have assigned the withholding text code in the first step of unit testing. So we'll select this TCS vendor over here. Then we'll be taking the invoice date. Suppose I take the invoice date as of 1st of December 2014 and the posting date as well of once. 1st of December 2014 and I take the reference number as uh, T201. Now we can take the amount, suppose I take the amount of around $15,000. Then I can put the text over here, invoice posting with WTHT. Then we can take the ledger over here. GL account. So we can go for the list of GL account over here. So out of the ledger accounts we need a, a ledger of purchase account or any kind of an expenses against which a vendor can be credited. So we'll be taking the purchases account over here. So the purchase GL has been assigned over here now and we'll be taking the amount and the amount will be $15,000 for the invoice. If you want you can take the text code over here as well. So suppose I take the text code over here as input. So this is basically a purchase. So it is an input text. So suppose I take the input text as V8. Now we need to select the text jurisdiction. So we can go and we can select the text jurisdiction as well. So the state over here will be Texas as we have created the tax jurisdiction for taxes only. So we'll be taking this Austin taxes jurisdiction and then we can move to the next with the help of a tab on the keyboard and we can now move on to the business area. So we can select the business area also from the list of all the business areas. So if you remember these are the three business areas which we have created. So suppose I take it as 1230 over here. Now we can move to the withholding tax part. So there is a message which has been generated that there is a $50,000 of 
advance to the capital vendor exists. So there is an advance to this particular vendor TCS of $50,000 already in its ledger account. So now we click on to the enter. So we have moved to this withholding tax over here. Now I can see that 1099 tax type for invoice has been assigned and the tax code is F1. If you want to see you can again see the list over here as F1 what this particular F1 represent. So F1 is withholding tax rent 10%. So this is it. Now what I can do is I can do it in two ways. First I can deduct 10% out of 15,000 over here. System will automatically deduct and the second case would be suppose I don't want to deduct the tax on 15,000 but I just want to deduct the tax on $5,000. So in that case you can change and you can put the base amount over here as $5,000. So we'll check both the scenarios in this case. Suppose I am just now processing only without base amount. So the system will calculate 10% TDS on this particular base amount that is the invoice amount of $15,000. So for that now to process the document we need to go to this particular basic data. Click over here. So we move to the basic data. Now we can simulate the document and we'll see enter. So we can see over here okay the withholding text is not there. Let me check back again why it happened so. So okay it's not taking the withholding tax over here right now why copy the amount from over here to over here for tax code now we can move so once I simulate you can see over here now that the vendor has been credited with $14,580 whereas the purchases have been debited with $15,000 and there is an input tax of $1,200. Input tax was of 8%. VAT is for 8%. So 8% of $15,000 is $1,200 and then there is a tax of 10%. So tax will be on gross amount that is purchase amount plus the tax amount that is equal to 15 plus 1200 is equal to 16,200 10% of 16,200 is 1620. So this is the TDS which is will deducted and which goes in the ledger account income tax withheld account in which this particular TDS amount will will be posted and later on this amount will be submitted to the government authorities. So this is your simulated entry a preview of the entry before posting and if you find that this particular entry is correct okay then we can move and we can post it over here. So this has been done when I am deducting the tax tedious that is withholding tax on the whole amount that is the gross amount uh, the amount plus the taxes. But suppose I am I am posting an invoice for a particular amount of $10,000 but I need the withholding tax should be deducted not on 10,000 but on some other amount suppose $6,000 because $4,000 is exempt to the vendor or due to some certain different situations or scenario I want to deduct the withholding tax not on the whole amount but on the parcel amount. So how I would be processing such kind of invoices. So in that case again we discussed just a while back we'll again process those document over here. So let's move on. Let's take one another practical situation for $10,000 now. Okay. We took the business area. Even we can take the text over here. Now suppose I move to this withholding or, or we can directly go to simulate. So once I simulate the entry enter. You can see now the withholding text which is deducted. Okay. 
the withholding tax which is deducted over here is a thousand dollars on ten thousand dollar that is ten percent of ten thousand dollar is equal to a thousand dollar but i don't want this thousand dollar i want the tds to be deducted on some other amount that is suppose six thousand dollar so six uh, ten percent of six thousand dollars would be six hundred so the tds should be over here as six hundred how i can do that so i can go back again okay so what I will be doing now is we'll move to this withholding tax. Enter. So I will be putting over here the base amount, the amount on which actually the withholding tax should be liable. I don't want the whole ten thousand dollars to be liable for the TDS or the for the withholding tax. I want only six thousand dollars to be liable. So in that case, we have the option of changing the amount instead of the whole. You can put a withholding base amount over here, and on that particular base amount only the withholding tax will be calculated by the system. So let's once I have put the amount over here. Now move to this basic data, and then we will again go and we'll see enter so now i can simulate the transactions once again and now we'll see the changes enter so now you can see over here the withholding tax is now six hundred dollars that is ten percent of six thousand the base amount which we have just defined over there so in this way you can even change the withholding tax amount amount as well over here by changing the base figure the withholding tax base figure by in the particular withholding tax tab so that is what how you can process these documents so the withholding tax can be calculated on the whole amount of the invoice or even it can be done on the parcel amount which has to be defined on the withholding tax tab in the base amount column and then the system will calculate 10 percent or the tedious percentage on the basis of that particular base amount so that is it and now we can go and we can post this particular document and a document will get posted so you can see the document number over here now similarly if you want to go back and want to display this document you can go to this document and you can display over here so your document will be displayed so you can see over here now again the document has been displayed over here where the vendor is credited with $9,400 $600 is the income tax, uh, sorry, the, the withholding tax liability with the government. So these both are the part of the liability, whereas the purchases account has been debited on the other side. So this is how we have processed it. So this is what we have done in the first step and the second one. In the first, we define the withholding tax code in the vendor master, and the second, we process the invoices as a full or as well as the parcel base amount and we checked how the withholding tax have been posted on the system and now we can even check the vendor vendor line item display as well if we want to so for that we need to go to slash and fbl 1n enter so we can select the vendor over here and now we can process the document execute so this will show you the ledger account of that particular so these are the number of documents we have just posted a couple of minutes back 47 46 these are the two documents which we just posted a while back over here so this 14,580 is the invoice amount on the vendor again 9400 dollars where 600 dollars was taken up to the income tax withholding ledger account similarly if you want you can go and you can check the ledger account as well fbl 3n enter so in that you can go and you can search the withhold income tax withheld ledger account with the search option in the list of gl accounts so over here we can search the so you can see over here income tax withheld account double click it's been selected now we can execute this so over here we can find that this was the $600 which was deducted just a while back. Similarly this was the $1620 which was been deducted on $16,200 of invoice. So these are those documents which just posted a while back. So this is how your withholding tax have been submitted to this particular ledger account or posted to this particular ledger account of income tax withheld account. Now moving up to the next is <coughs> this was the case when you wanted to deduct the withholding tax 
on the vendor invoices. Even in some of the countries, the withholding taxes are deducted on payment as well. So they are both the options. In certain cases, withholding tax are deducted on vendor invoice. In certain cases, withholding tax is deducted on vendor's payment. In certain countries, both the options are options are there depending upon which occurs first. Accordingly, the taxes are imposed on them. So now how we will be deducting the withholding tax in case of vendor payment? So for that again we need to go to the vendor master where we need to assign the withholding tax type for payment. Earlier what we did was for the invoice part. So now we'll be moving to the next that is again we can go to the vendor master FK02 enter. Now we'll be moving to the same TCS vendor. We'll be selecting this particular withholding tax option enter. So till now we did N1 that is for invoice. If we check this with F4, we'll find that N1 is for invoice part. So this is for tax type for invoice. So till now what we did was for invoice. Now suppose I want that I'm making certain payment to the vendor and I want TDS to be deducted or withholding tax to be deducted on, the, on those payments as well. So in that case, you first need to assign this tax type and tax code in the vendor master list then only their payments uh, you can deduct the withholding taxes on their particular payments so we can select this p1 over here for payment okay will not change this we'll take on the next line so in the next row i will be taking the next option that is for payment and i can select over here the tax code so now suppose I want the tax code as 10% in case of payment. We need to select this liable option and then I can go to the recipient type and the recipient type will remain the same that is 01 because a particular vendor master cannot be two different recipient. It will be if individual then the second will also be individual. So after that you can go and we can save this particular part and your tax codes are assigned to the vendor master. Now once they have been assigned we will process the payment and we'll see how the withholding tax will be deducted from the vendor masters. So now we'll be moving to the payment over here. So now again there are two options. The payment can be made in two ways. One is advance payment to the vendor and another is a normal payment that is settlement after the invoice. So suppose I want to deduct the TDS in case of advance payment as well as in case of a normal payment. Both these situations are possible. So in case of advance payment we'll first check first thing. So let's move on to the advance payment part that is F-48 enter now we will be processing the payment. Suppose I am making a payment on 5th of December 2014. So moving over here I will be selecting the vendor over here. So my vendor is TCS and now my special deal indicator I have taken up is C that is capital advance. And the GL I will be taking over here is 11. You can take the business area as well over here. That is 30. Now suppose I, I am making an advance payment of $10,000 to the vendor. Enter. Now over here also we need to put the amount $10,000. Business area. Over here if you want you can put the detail that is advance. Now over here you have the option of withholding tax you can see. So we need to click on to this withholding tax option. Once you click you can see that you will find T1 that is tax for on case of payment. You can see over here withholding tax type for payment. So the tax code will be picked accordingly if you are processing the invoice, the invoice tax code will be picked and in case of payment, your payment tax codes will be triggered. So that is what you can do over here. 
uh, after that we can process it over here we can go to this simulate entry and we'll check now that the income tax withheld of one thousand dollars have been deducted so the system is deducting 10% of $10,000 that is what has been defined as a part of the tax code that 10% withholding tax will be deducted. So this is how uh, the vendor will be processed with $10,000 of advance where actual payment will be $9,000 and $1,000 will go to the government as a part of the taxes. So now we can go and we can post this document. So document has been posted over here. You can even go and you can check the document over here with the display option. So this is it. So this is in case of advanced payment where you can check the special GL indicator that is C has been assigned over here. You can check over here. Even you want you can go to this display document header and you can even check the these details over here. This FBA7 is the technical code of transaction code that is for advanced payment to the vendor. So this is how we have processed the advanced payment with deduction of withholding tax. Now we'll be moving to the normal vendor payment that is vendor payment after the invoice posting. So in that case now we'll be processing the transaction F-58 enter. So we will be taking the company code on the main screen the payment method house bank check lot then we'll be taking the the printer over here lp01 lp01 by default now we'll go to execute payment so over here i will be taking the amount suppose i take the amount as one because i don't know what actual amount will be processed late uh, in the later stages so we'll come back later on and we'll change this amount over here business area you can take the value date and then we can go and we can take over here the text over here payment to vendor TCS and we'll be selecting the vendor code over here for TCS and in that case I will be selecting the special jewel indicator that is C. Now we can process open item. So once we process the open item you can see the screen over here. You can deselect all the transactions, select all and then you can go to deselect over here. Now what I will be doing is I will be selecting certain documents for processing the payment. So I will be taking the document over here of suppose fifty thousand dollars I am taking okay it says the item some different document has to be selected so we'll be processing the document suppose for twelve thousand dollar so we have selected the twelve thousand dollar over you can see that has been assigned if it deselect it will become zero over here so I will be selecting this particular twelve thousand dollar invoice and now I'll be processing the payment for this so moving over here I will be changing the amount putting a star the system will take automatically as per the adjusted value and then we can go to the process open item again so you can see 12,000, 12,000 has been taken up. Now we can go to this withholding tax tab whether to calculate the tax or not. So once we move over here to the withholding tax part, you can see over here the amount is zero as assigned because we are not deducting any withholding tax at this point of time. So we can go and we can process the document and we can simulate so no tedious will be deducted. In case you want to deduct the TDS or uh, at the time of payment, in that case while posting the invoice, you need to select a payment withholding tax code. How? Let's process that as well. So we'll be moving to FB60 again. Again a new practical scenario where now the withholding tax will be deducted at the time of payment and not invoice. So what uh, the situation is that 
while I am posting the invoice, I will not deduct the withholding tax at the time of invoice, but I will put the tax code of <coughs> withholding tax at the time of payment where the system will automatically ask for withholding tax deduction while making the payment after the invoice. So in that case, let's move on and just process one more particular scenario. Suppose I am processing it on 8th of August and the amount over here is around $18,000 and now take the text take the ledger account so so what I will be doing is now I will be moving to the withholding text tab enter enter so we'll see over here there are two text codes the first one is for invoice so I don't want to deduct the withholding tax at the time of invoice so what I will do I will take this F1 tax code off I will delete that tax code from over here in the field and I will let the payment tax code as it is over there so either of these two whichever you will let it be over there the tax will be deducted accordingly so I don't want the text to be deducted at the time of invoice so that's why I just uh, deleted that particular column and I let the payment at the time of payment option withholding text type for the payment option as T1 as it is because I want the text code to be text to be deducted at the time of payment only so you just let it be over there so accordingly when the document will be posted it will be posted with T1 text code and when while making the process of payment after the invoice posting the system will propose the withholding text code as per this particular text code option moving to the base map basic data enter so now we can go and we can simulate the document enter so you can see there is no text has been deducted no withholding tax no income tax withheld ledger is assigned over here because we are not deducting the withholding tax at the time of invoice posting we will deduct that once the invoice will be posted and when the normal payment will be processed on this invoice at that time we will be deducting the tax the withholding tax so now we can go and we can post the document so the document has been posted now we'll be moving and processing the payment for this particular document so f-58 enter so again suppose I take it as one business area the date I will be taking up now is 12th the vendor over here I will be taking the special jail indicator as C now process open item so you can see over here number of documents have been selected so I will be deselecting them first I will go to this select option select all and then I will go to this third option from over here deactivate items so once I did that all the items have been deactivated now I will be processing the document of $18,000 which is we are just posted now so I will be selecting this document over here so you can see over here now but the amount over here is 16,200 why because 10% TDS is deducted in this so that we'll see later on we'll move to this document overview and I will be changing the bank amount option over here as a star so that the system will take a star as a payment option or we can go to this process open item now so over now you can see $16,200, $16,200 as a as amount assigned over here but however we have selected this $18,000 over here even then it is coming over here $16,200 why because 10% of $18,000 is $1,800 which has been taken up as withholding tax you want to see where it is so we can go to this withholding tax option over here so once you go over there you can see that over here $1800 have been taken up as a part of withholding tax so the system automatically calculates the withholding tax once you assign that particular withholding tax code in that particular document so while processing the invoice we took that payment tax code T1 
and that is why the system automatically directs the withholding tax over here as 10% on the payment. So once you go for this, now we can go and we can go to simulate and we can see the document entry. So you can see over here the actual payment processed against this particular 18,000 of invoices 16,200 and 10% of TDS is deducted which goes to income tax withheld ledger account and this will later on be deposited to the tax authorities. So this is how it all processes. Now you can go and you can post this particular document and the document has been posted with 1500027 as a document number. Okay. So you can see now the document has been posted over here. So this is what we have did uh, and this is what the whole unit testing is all about. We covered the assignment of withholding tax code in the vendor master where we assign the withholding tax code for invoice posting as well as for payment posting. Then we process the vendor invoice with withholding tax and we saw that how the taxes have been deducted at the time of invoice posting, at the time of advance payment or at the time of normal vendor payment when the invoice was posted and then payment is processed on the basis of the invoice. Then even we can check the vendor line item display over here and the GL line item as well. So that even you can check right now even as well. So we can go to MBL 3N. <coughs> And we can check the income tax withheld ledger over here. You can see. So these are the documents, deductions of withholding tax which has been taken up in this particular ledger account. Similarly, you can also process and you can check the ledger's balances, how they are impacted and they have been taken up. Similarly, you can process the vendor line item as well with FBL 1N. Enter. You can select the vendor over here. And then you can go to execute. So we can see over here, these are the different vendors pending for payment. So this is what we have done. Now we'll see a few of the reports over here, over here, which has been displayed to you. And these are the very important reports with perspective to the withholding tax code. And the first one is withholding tax report for 1099 miscellaneous reporting, which is very much useful for United States as well as in many of the other countries as well. So you can go to this particular report S underscore P 00 underscore 0700134. Enter. So once you enter the screen over here, you can see first you need to select the process type. So for that, you need to go to the search option over here. What are the different process types assigned over here? So in that, you need to select is you will be selecting the 1099 miscellaneous form. In case you are using it for some other country or for some different perspective, in that case, you can select other process type as well. So I will be taking 1099 miscellaneous form over here. Here, now you can take the output control. For that, again, you can go to the select options. So again, you will find number of select options over here. So what we will be taking up is will be taking up 1099 that is 1099 miscellaneous report is all about now we'll be going to country key that is us now the reporting period so the withholding tax report for which period you want this particular report so suppose i want this particular report for the month of december so i will be taking 1012214 till 31st 12 2014 so I will be taking this report from for the month of December and I will be assigning the company code for which company code you want this report for which fiscal year you want this report. Then if you know the text type withholding text type even you can select that. Suppose I want the separate withholding text reports on the basis of different types. I can assign different types to over here and I can segregate the reports on the basis of that. So that is up to you how you want to take that particular report as or if you don't want any any such things you can direct you can even segregate the report on the basis of vendor wise so you can take vendor wise reports as well over here and there are different options otherwise over here as well so this is what the basic things you need to put up over here and then you can move and we can execute this report over now and once you execute it asks you that 
additional selection for us so if you want any additional selection you can put over here the additional selection is like minimum amount of federal taxation minimum base amount of royalties if you want to put the state you can put this state over here so the report will be filtered on the basis of that going below you can even want to put the name contact persons th those all things can be taken up over here as well but i don't need anything else so i will be just uh, putting enter or click on to this particular right click that is continue so once I continue, you can see the report has been generated. It says company code 1200 withholding tax reference number. Okay. Now the company code is 1200. The company name is IBM LLC. And you can see the vendor code is this. And the withholding tax types are assigned over here. And you can even see the tax code F1 and T1. F1 is for vendor invoice and T1 is for at the time of payment where the TDS is deducted. So you can see over here now the base amount is this and 10% of that has been deducted. The base amount is 38,000 and the base amount of that has been deducted over here as well. So this is how the withholding tax have been deducted over here on the screen. Similarly you can see now that in this particular first 30,000 of invoice no TDS was deducted so there is no tax has been incurred on this. Moving down the screen, you can even see the details of how this uh, over here, the summation entries have been come up, how you got 32,280, that break, breakup has been given to you over here as well, that the $30,000 $30, of invoice includes one of 12,000 and one of 18,000, the document number details have been given to you over here. The posting date details have been given to you and these both the invoices no TDS have been deducted so these are exempted of TDS. If you go for this one tax code F1 that is 32,280 even th those breakup has been given to you over here. For F1 the amount of 32,280 dollars includes these four documents and all these four documents in that the TDS have been deducted at the rate of 10% you can check over here. So that is over here the TDS have been deducted in this second last column over here in this part and then there is no exemption. So over here in this case if you remember we posted one invoice of $10,000 and out of that only we have deducted the TDS on 6000 as a base amount. So you can see out of 10,000, 6,000 on 6,000 we have imposed the the taxes. So 4,000 of base amount has went to the exam part. So this is how the whole description has been given to you of the of the report and the details. So it gives you an overview on the first part over here. This and on the below part it gives you the whole description as well for that particular vendor. So the vendor is TCS. Similarly, you can have a uh, number of different postings on number of different vendors and then you can execute those reports and you can see those those reports coming up over here on the screen so moving back this is how uh, the first report that is generic withholding tax report has been executed this is the first report we just executed similarly you can move on to execute the second report now now let's try the second report slash n and then I'm taking the second report over here. Now the second report over here you can see S underscore PL0 underscore 09000447. So you can put the company code over here now again 1200. If you want a specific report on the basis of the vendor to vendor you can put the vendor code. If you want the, the report as a whole you can execute as a whole as well. The choice is up to you. Now we can go and we can assign the country variant F4. So where I will be selecting the country variant. There is no United States country variant is assigned. So for the time let's take some other country as a variant. And now I can execute the report over here. Close it. Okay. I need to put form identification so let's assign that form identification as well there is no form identification no problem click on to the enter 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 
So now we can go to execute this particular report. We don't need to do much in this. What you need to do is you need to select the company code. You need to select the country variant and then we can execute the report over here. Enter. Enter. So you have to click on to the enter number of times and once you have done now you can see this second screen is coming up to you for print parameters if you want to print this report so we can go on to this output device so we'll get a list of output device over here okay so you must mind uh, one thing that the output device you will be taking is lp01 this is what the standard sap has been uh, provided with so we always use lp01 as a default output device once you have taken this we can go and we can go for the print preview before printing so we can assign click on to the print preview so as of now there is no form been assigned so because of which we cannot have the access of this report no problem so we have went through the first report the second report has certain uh, related to technical related issues that is the form has not been assigned so the most important report that is the first report we just checked in that is what is important for you and you can take that repose and you can even go for further searching out in these options over here by expanding them as a general control and all other different things So you can see this general data over here. If there is any spatial geo indicator, you can assign that over here now. And then if there is any further selections options in your, in your mind, like uh, you want to segregate the document or the report on the basis of document type or business area, or maybe entry date or GL account or any other different options are there. Even you can segregate the reports on the basis of AR and AP different options. However, right now we'll be having this and even you can go to this control output control list so these have many other options with itself and on the basis of that this report becomes very handy because it gives you a lot of different informations depending upon what kind of informations you are needed with regard to the withholding text part so as much as you will explore this particular report this will give you more and more informations below in that so for that you need to explore these options over here the the common part is a basic part we have i just provided you over here on the screen so this is what is all about the withholding text part so that is it we have covered all the withholding text part points in this uh, you can you can try these you can configure the system create more and more of withholding text types and assign more and more withholding text codes to them and process different text codes in in number of different vendor masters don't take one particular vendor master create number of vendor masters post each documents on the basis of withholding text codes analyze what has been done how they have been processed where they have been going and how those reports have been generated so the more you do it will give you more and more understanding for the system and it will become more easy to to grasp the things and to understand so that is it as a part of the withholding text. We'll see you in the next session with a new topic. Till then, thank you.